What did he say? I don't know what I'm saying. I should ask me questions and I answer these questions. Uh, hi, I'm Tim the drummer. Hey, I'm Bethany. I am the keyboardist slash vocalist. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm one of the vocalists. Hi, I'm Dave. I play the acoustic and I sing. My name is Reardon. I, um, I've been friends with Graham for a while. My name's Scott Loveday and I'm a close friend of Graham's. I've been friends for about oh, five, six years. Um, I remember singing a couple of Graham songs back in the old soul groups and just even in my own time in worship I know that it's taken me to such deep places with God. Uh, hi, my name's Graham. I um, um, am, I guess you can say, the author of all these songs. Just randomly rocked up to a, a vision afternoon meeting one time. Graham just automatically assumed that we were going to be a part of the band, so here we are. Uh, I just came here from the States a few weeks back, uh, just kind of was drawn into the band. Uh, it was definitely awesome, definitely God inclined. I just really feel um, that God's going to use the album to bring people um, closer to Him, people who don't really know how to enter into worship. It's been a good learning curve and God's just really, we just have to give the glory to Him because He's you know, he's done everything. He's done everything in this whole album, and it's it's just a miracle that it's all come together. I guess technically I've never been. Uh, I never write um, worship songs. Um, what happens is in my God time, I just write, sing whatever's on my heart, whether it's a song that exists or a new song or something like that. And over time, um, just these little phrases came together and like choruses and stuff. And, um, I played them at Cell Group, I was running at Cell Group at the time and, um, and one by one eventually I had like this worship album. I had the pleasure of hearing all these songs being absolutely racketed from, from upstairs when Graham used to live with me over in Carindale and we were in this little townhouse complex yeah and he'd just be singing these songs totally out of tune but I, 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 I knew all the words before we even started the album because I'd heard him sing them just upstairs in his own room in his time with God. I see this album just really teaching people how to um, yeah just walk in the presence of God. I just think that um, a lot of these songs really speak to people's hearts and um, to, to bring the presence of God into people's homes and into their lives I think is something that that really excites me um, and just to be a part of it is, is an amazing blessing um, and I consider it a privilege. This is the first worship album where I've really heard like the cry of our heart in so many situations. In one album you've got everything from God, nothing can separate me from your love, I come to you broken again, all the way to Come let us celebrate the king has just arrived. You know, that sort of stuff. And so in just one album, you've got almost the whole human experience. And that's what we want to share with you. I guess seeing this album happen is so exciting because I just know that we're going to be able to share that same experience with others. And um, I just know so much fruit's going to come from this. And the worship is incredible. I truly cannot wait to see what God's going to do with this album. I believe that it is really anointed. And it's a great thing to find an album that caters to numerous people. So. I've enjoyed being a part of it and I can't wait. Yeah, it's good to have a night like tonight being the, the launch night and you guys are going to get your socks blasted off. There will be one song, two songs or three that touch your heart and you'll go, I felt like that, I thought like that, my gosh, why don't we sing songs that are about that at church? And so that's what this album's for. This album is a way to bless you to say, hey, there are young adults here in Brisbane that feel this way, that are passionate for God, and we're ready to worship it. And some of these songs are written from all different, you know, seasons in your Christian walk. Like some of them, you can tell are written in the season when you're just dry and thirsty for God. Others when you're just broken and crying out for God. Others when you're just down and repenting. Others when you're just like captured by the majesty of God. Others where you're just excited and just like in love with God. And I, I really hope that each one of these songs can just bring a touch of this um, into your life and a touch of each of these facets of God um, into your life and, uh, and yeah I really um, 
I really believe that this album is going to uh, bring people into a new uh, level of intimacy with God.